Hey guys, this is Child Dyrus here with another Ogat Portable Ops video for you. I gave you a preview of this game a few months ago, and uh, it's still in the alpha status, but you can play it on Windows, Android, or iOS, and the download is available on their Discord. I'll provide a link in the description to this video if anybody wants to go check it out. Also, feel free to hit me up, let me know. Be happy to play with some people. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be going with the controller. Last time I did the mouse and keyboard. We're just going to go a little bit more in depth than we did before. And whoa, I feel like I'm playing Eve Online now. Ship's spinning. Uh, anyway, so get your little menu up here. As you go along and play, you unlock a bunch of different rewards and different classes and whatnot. They've got a shotgun. You can spend dog tags on to level up your operators. Some skins and plenty of gold to buy. So there's already some stuff going on in there. These are all the different operators that they've got in the game right now. We're going to be playing on the scout today. As you get dog tags, you... Uh, you can level them up, which increases their stats and costs gold. Different classes have different weapons, obviously. Okay. And here we've got our tasks. You've got your daily quests and your season tasks. And then there's rewards here. It's like a battle pass. You know, you can pay bucks for it. I'm pretty sure everybody's pretty familiar with those. You can also get there from there. Alright, and now there are squads, you can play with your friends, down here you can change your game mode, and we're going to do some gold rush right now, I'm going to show you, uh, the scout has can't remember what it actually is but it's a it's not like a regular grenade it's um, more of mine can't remember exactly what it is right now I find it really useful in gold rush because you can just throw it it's a sticky you can throw it right there in the gold and bam anybody who tries to walk in there just gets wrecked so when you stay behind walls over time you'll heal get shot obviously your healing stops get close to somebody you melee them and then you can walk away try to shoot them a little bit more it works better or works pretty good with a um, soft knife or something like that I just walked right into a claim or wasn't watching So in this game, it has um, kind of like an auto-aim mechanic, which makes it so that it's playable on uh, mobile. But the way they do it, it makes it so that it's still not too, uh, it's not like it's boring to play on PC either. Because while it snaps them, you still got to be pretty accurate with it. I should probably pay a little bit more attention to what I'm doing over here. We gotta go get that guy who's got that his eight gold bars over there. Ooh. So, I do uh, wish the controls were a little different with the controller. but they're not too bad to get used to. There we go, we got the gold bars, now we just gotta stay alive. Oh man. Get her. Guys, you're gonna let her heal up and get away. Run! Oh. 
Go. No. Stick that to the wall over there. Boom. Just like that. Playing on the controller doesn't feel too much different from playing on the keyboard, to be honest with you. I, I don't mind either one. It's still pretty fun. One of these days, I should probably download this on my phone and try it on there and see how it feels. I don't think I've tried his pistol at all. Not bad. Fires pretty quick. It's not that much damage though. Did not throw that in the right place, did I? One thing that I would like to see here pretty soon would be some, uh, some more maps. This is a, this is a nice, good map to play on, but it's kind of the only one they've got for this. The way the auto-aim is, it's really good to try to break line of sight with people and circle around them, try to break their uh, auto-fire, and then they can't really shoot you. Alright, let's go and do a little bit of Royale while we're here too, I don't think I've showcased this game mode yet. This one's pretty fun too. Um, I like most battle royales where you go around and pick up weapons and stuff. This is just like GoGab where you pick your class, you get drops, you have your guns, all that. But there's little power-ups on the map that increase your stats throughout the match. And when you kill somebody, they drop all the power-ups that they've got. It's a pretty small map. It's more arena-based than what you'd expect from a battle royale normally. You gotta be careful flanks. You run into people all the time. See, there's three people over there. Keeps things interesting. So, they're not much just sitting around camping on this. Oh! Ah oh, ha ha! Dang, he shot me. I thought he was gonna miss. So you can see it's pretty pretty quick, pretty simple, but it's fun. Uh, there are there is also duos that you can do this with. So I'm not quite sure how that is. I haven't give, I haven't had a chance to try it yet, unfortunately. But when I do get a chance, we'll see. Uh, ah crap. I would actually probably prefer assault for this mode. Grenades I think are going to be more useful than the sticky most of the time. Wait around here and heal for a second. 
Pop this guy. Just gonna. Oh, nope. I guess I can't. What about this guy? Pop this guy. Wow, that was really inaccurate. This guy's kind of hard to use from far away. Ooh. I'm just gonna let him have those, I guess. There we go. He's really trying to hide out there. There you go, there's the battle royale. And took a little bit of look at all the different menus and everything. You can see how the scout's a little different from the assault. And later on, I will be showcasing some more classes for you, like the Merc. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope this has been enjoyable, and I hope it makes you guys want to give this game a try. I think it'll be a lot of fun once it starts getting going and we get some more people in. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.